Hello YouTube, how's it going? I just want to take a quick second and let you know you can catch me live on twitch.tv slash kitchen table meta every Monday and Tuesday at nighttime. That's 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then, of course, you can catch the Supercast every Wednesday at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then finally, you can catch my daytime streams at noon till 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday and Friday. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just pitch this entire hand. I need to put some pressure on him, and I don't think I can with any of these cards. Oh, we have a turn one play, a turn two play. I like this on three. I like this a lot too, though. This is a good blue card to play down. I keep the Frieza. I'm gonna keep the Frieza Vegeta. What a oh, set up life. Uh, so I'm going first. So we're gonna. Um, Put this guy down and uh, play Boo. Draw a card. Get that Dusty O'Brien signature boost attack Piccolo on turn one. As the game goes on, Vegeta will get enough support to be consistent in the meta. But for now, Vegeta can't compete. I don't agree. I think Vegeta can compete. I think people are building Vegeta very wrong. And I think they're doing... Um, I think they're going about it the wrong way and i think i, I I'm, I'm serious like i i've played it a lot against friends um i've been playing it uh quite a bit and honestly it's been pretty powerful every time i've played it so i don't know it's it seems like there's there's something there i think people are playing it too thematic and not playing it um what's what's what i'm looking for not playing it i think the strongest thing about vegeto is that all of their energy is every caller and i think people are not taking advantage of that enough that's, that's what i that's what i'll say but again, I haven't had a lot of time to play with it. So maybe if you guys want me to, maybe Friday I'll, I'll bust out and I'll try to play some Vegito. We can see what we can build. I mean, I'm okay with that for sure. Uh, what do you believe the best way to build Vegito is? I think you need to be super aggressive. If you stick, uh, if, if if you stick with um, Goku and Vegetas, I, I think that you have to build it um, very aggressively. I think it has to be super, super aggressive. I think. Super Saiyan 3, Vegito, the promo and the 4-drop are very, very strong cards currently. Um, uh, hold shift and drag uh, the arrow. Um, and so I think those cards are super, super strong, guys, uh, and super underrated. I think the probably the best way to build it competitively, though, is to build a mix-up of like really good red cards, really good green cards, and really good blue cards, and then use Vegeta's and Goku's to like fix your mana or fix your energy, and just play out these super strong cards in every caller. So like, that's that's where I can see the deck being pretty broken. I just haven't been able to sit down and really mess with it too much. No combo. Okay, just go here. Because we're probably gonna get double striked, and we want to go to we want to go to uh, six. We don't want to go to uh, five. Uh, another game. Okay, we're just gonna put two in our hand. I like this card a lot. I think it's pretty good in this matchup. It's like boom, go get this, go get, or go get this. I, I want to really play. I, wanna, I really want to play this card out this game. So I don't want to use it as energy, but I need another green to play this out because the play is definitely attack here and draw a card. Okay, let's see here. I'm actually gonna play. Um, yeah, I need to get some some more music on here, guys. I just like what sucks is like I don't want to play I don't, I don't want to play like copyrighted music because then people when they watch my vod they can't hear me talk. Come on, green card, green card. Ooh, Goku's pretty rough, but I think it's fine. So we're gonna play it out. Play out this guy. Make sure this is a when discard tax. Yeah, go here. So I don't think we're gonna be able to play this, so I'm just gonna think attack into him with this and draw. It's like I think I'm gonna cycle this Vegeta. It sets up this too. Uh, no negate. Okay. Um, so we're gonna draw a card. And we'll just say 10k. And we're gonna cycle Vegeta to get in the graveyard for our trunks. Okay. Oh, I love that we got another one of these. That's sick. That means we can play this down as our second green and still have one. Because I really want to test this card. I think this card seems really good. 
And what we're going to try to do here is we're going to put as many cards as we can in his hand for this Piccolo next turn. Especially if he awakens next turn at 6, because then we can protect it. Either way, he has to deal with it, which is what's fantastic. Yeah, uh, guys, yeah, again, I'm going to have a banner uh, for it. I'm going to talk to Danny after the stream, and I'm going to get a banner up for it so you guys will be able to see it. But remember, there is Danny is hosting an event. I'll be casting it with Danny Hype, uh, which is you know the, the, the best combo of casters you can see. Uh, me and Danny Hype, love it. Uh, it was actually the first time I cast this game was with Danny, uh, and he's doing awesome uh, tournament. I think it's a ten dollars entry. Um, you get some awesome prizes. Uh, just say it's just it's so cool. Yeah, I'll let him do that so he can he can share it out and stuff. Uh, is this the one that searches a boo, right? Yeah, it has to be a red boo. Which this card would have been so cool if it wasn't red boo. If it was just Majin boo, I'm actually I don't know why that restriction was there. It'd be so cool to be able to play this out and search out your boos. Okay, place one battle card from your hand under this card and choose up to one Majin Buu other than Buu with 25,000 more power from... Okay. Yeah, guys, definitely check out that event. It's really cool. Like I said, we'll be casting it. Uh, and then we might even do some really cool stuff. Like me and Danny will talk about it. We might do some really cool stuff like, um, you know, maybe me and him will play matches against the winner or something like that. Or, you know, get you guys on um, the stream to talk to us or something. And we'll definitely find some cool ways to interact with you guys as well. And the prizes are insane, guys. They're so good. Do I want to attack? Do I want to keep this thing alive? I don't think so. No combo. Okay, let's let this die then. Because it's really possible that I just awaken. <laughs> and like, if I can keep this little guy alive, and he doesn't awaken, and I can push him over through that and just draw an extra card would be so good. But I think that's probably a little too cute. Because I'm definitely playing Piccolo next turn, and I just kind of want to go all in on Piccolo here. Okay, we'll say none of gate. No combo. Okay, we're just going to use... The Vegeta. It's for him to attack us with Kaba. He has to awaken us, which I'm super excited about. Oh, he's just he's just he's just shipping turn. Okay. Uh, tap ball. Draw a card. Ooh, Trunks is really cool here. I do want second green though. I'm gonna play this down here. Yeah, because I want him to have to, I want him to awaken here. No combo. Okay. Uh, let's see. He's saying no negate. Okay. Um, I do. I do want to combo with here and draw a card, and then ready a blue. That way, I have a counter to protect this, so it will be at twenty k. So he's at 15. Okay. So he's running two red. <laughs> and it's a Doria. Okay. Alrighty. Down, back down to seven cards. Alright, good. And then we'll attack for uh, for 10k into here. Sorry. Actually, if I attack into 10k here, he has to awaken or he takes it. Yeah, I'm attacking it here to force an awaken. I mean, ch chances are he's going to awaken anyway. <laughs> I mean, there's a there's a very high possibility he awakens next turn, but it's also possible if he doesn't have a way to deal with um, this Piccolo, then he just decides like not like not to awaken, so he doesn't draw a bunch of cards, and this this puts him in a situation where he he kind of has to uh, awaken, or he takes a or he takes a damage. So, oh, he's fifteen thousand percent too. Sure. Um. Oh yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh, no combo. Pass the turn. I think it'd be really cool if um, 
if the guy who does octagon does this for octagon whenever you play sensu bean on a target it'd be cool if i just put a little sensu bean on that target uh normally it's not that big of a deal but if i'm watching chat and stuff it's actually really hard to like kind of you know remember where sensu bean and stuff was this is discard down the six right yeah so let's see what happens like I said, it's it, it's possible that he just decides not to awaken here, which I'm not sure if that's the right play, but it's definitely a possible play. And if that happens, then like the Piccolo's done its job. Not to mention that we're gonna play out another Gohan and do the same thing again. I also like because we also have Goku the cycle next turn too. That that turns on our trunks. So our turn, our turn four, five, and six are going to be pretty disgusting, I think. Five thousand in here, okay. Uh, we'll say none of gate. Again, guys, remember that's another thing too about this card that's really important to remember. Um, if he uses enough cards, if he uses essentially cards that make him go down to six to deal with this card, then he's essentially done this card's effect. Like, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but he's essentially like, if he if he, if he he uses uh, enough cards to kill it, it's essentially done what it's supposed to do anyway. So 15, uh, we'll just go to 20 and keep it alive. Because, like, there's one card, so he's down to six. And we're, we're going to pitch, you know, Goku away. It sucks we don't draw off of it, but this next turn is pretty, pretty brutal. Curious to see what he does with the awaken. If he, if he awakens or not, my guess is he'll still awaken. I think he probably still will need to awaken. You can pitch cards enough, I think, to be fine. Yeah. All right, fifteen thousand to fifteen thousand. Um, we're just we're actually just going to negate this. We're trying to put a lot of pressure because, like, right now, if we can keep this alive, he is—he's actually losing uh, three cards at the end of his turn, which is uh, fantastic. Okay, so he's at five thousand. Say another gate, and then he has to do it all again the next turn. So here he's going to three life. Oh, he's actually not going to use it. So he's at fifteen. Okay, fifteen. 25 <laughs> I'm going so I'm going way too far on this car, but I just I love it It makes me so happy because I know this turn is just gonna be insane if, if I can keep this alive I have two of them to deal with and it's just like gonna be Okay, he pitched him. Okay. So he's having down a six. I like it. So we're going to draw our card. Kel's really cool. Um, I don't want to use Piccolo here, but I actually want to keep Kel. So I'm actually going to use Piccolo. I hate doing it because it's kind of bad, but uh, we're going to go f 15 into our opponent. No combo. We'll say no combo. We'll say no combo. He goes to three, play four, play out this Goku. It's when it go high. It's when it, when he pick a little danger comes through us from your deck. Okay, he's on Cold Ballast it. Fine. We have no problem with that because we still have he's at two life, which is fantastic. And we still have our Kel, which is fan, which is which is great. So we're gonna go here and here. What is the bar on the bottom right? Oh, the bar on the bottom right is like the boss bar. And so uh, for like for following, for like donating, um, you guys like deal damage to the boss. And then if you kill the boss, like if you're the player who kills the boss, then you become the boss. Okay, yeah, that's dead. And then we're going to attack into here as well. Out the gates, uh, say no combo.
Okay. So we've cleared our opponent's board. Um, we have a Piccolo, which kind of like demands an answer for him. I mean, it's not too bad now because he's not, you know, we've, we've got two cards. So like that Piccolo, I think in total has dealt like, it's dealt like two damage. Um, it's, it's took a two life and like four cards. Like that's pretty good for three energy. Like I don't mind that at all. Our opponent's at two life, we're at six. So we're pretty, <laughs> pretty solid as far as that goes. Uh, we also have the ability to play Kill next turn, start drawing more cards. Um, I like it. I like where we're at right now. So 15,000 and 20,000, we're going to say no to gate. Dance King 1711, thoughts on all these Buhan decks rising up lately? Um, uh, yeah, I this is the first time I've played against one, so I don't I don't know much about them. Honestly, I haven't seen them being played. I, no one in my play group plays them. Uh, no one on the team plays them. I haven't really seen any like streams or anything of anybody playing them, so I don't really know a whole lot about them, honestly. So, uh, okay, yeah, so we're gonna let this die. It's fine. I'll tr I'll trade Gohan for a Cold Blood Lust, a Life, and a uh, ten thousand combo card. That's pretty good. See what we're gonna do here. I think he still has to put pressure on this Piccolo, which is gonna save his life again. <laughs> Another Hercule. Um, are you not going to search? He didn't search yet. Something reminded him. Uh, if I have four cards and I attack with Kel, yeah, actually the Kel effect would happen first. Um, I actually, I think you, could, I think actually in the rules you're actually allowed to, to to put them the way you want. Like you're allowed to stack them the way you want. So actually, I, regardless, either the Kel, the either Kel happens first or you choose the order. Okay. Fifteen. I'll tell you what, I am very tempted to save this card. Because Kel doesn't do anything next turn anyway. Fifteen. This is actually a tough choice because because Kel does nothing for me next next game like next turn anyway. If this dies, if I save him here, if I save Piccolo here, then when he plays another card out, he'll have to like pressure Piccolo again. And he's already down to five cards, so like he's getting very low on cards and he has two life. So it's like I feel like this might I feel like this is the wrong play, but I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save him. This forces him to have to play another card out of hand, so he'll go to four, and then he has to like you know unless it's you know a, a low cost card he'll have to actually pump it up. I really feel like it's wrong. Okay, so he's just actually Manaka Manaka to draw a card. Okay, so he's still a five. That's the thing about Frieza too. I'm sure a lot of those cards in hand are just are, are just extra cards. And so that's what I mean. Like I talk about it all the time. Like I think that's that's a pretty bad play normally because like with your opponent having four cards in hand or five cards in hand, they almost assuredly have a way to beat him, like kill him. But I actually think right now he's stuck with a lot of extra cards in hand. Sensu Bean, possibly the worst draw on the deck. We're going to keep Sensu Bean to protect this next turn. Renegade. Uh, we're just going to say no combo. It's going to put him to one life. It shuts off Cold Ball in his deck, too, if he takes this one damage. But I think we'll use the Sensu Bean to protect here. Let's 
see what he uses. He uses a boo. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking our position here. I think we're actually in a pretty good spot. It's very, it's been very slow because we have like, <laughs> we've had one card in hand for like two turns, but like, I kind of like where it's ended up at. Yeah, yeah, uh, B. Matheny, we, yeah, we, we know what you mean, man. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, you still like, I'm pretty confident. I'll check for you after this if you want. I'll, I'll look at the rules, but I'm pretty sure you choose the order. Say no negate. I mean, I actually, <laughs> this Piccolo has done some work. It just requires. It just has taken so much aggro away from my leader. Like he has, like, he just wants to kill this Piccolo. He has to. I want to say he has to. I mean, I think he could actually... I think at this point, he's invested so many resources in trying to kill it that he can just play around it. Like, I don't think he has to. He doesn't have to kill this thing. <laughs> I think he can actually just, like, let it sit there. Like, just make sure you stay under six cards every turn. It's fine. Like, it's already kind of done its thing. Like, I don't know. I feel like he's he's invested a lot of resources into this Piccolo and... But also on the same token, like I don't think he wants to go down to, to one life because then it shuts off all the cold bullets in his deck too, which kind of stinks. I mean, trunks trunks decks are never good decks to cold bullets anyway. But I mean, cold, cold bullets in the the uh, Gohan was fine, but I just feel like it, it kind of put him behind. Oh, I got your name right the first try. Uh, who's the boss? I love it when I get names right because I, I really do. If only you knew my hand. I I don't know his hand, but I'm pretty certain that I know his hand. <laughs> if that makes sense, like I know he just has a bunch of extra cards. It's like the downside of playing Mecha Frieza. Like when I used that Kel, I knew he had a bunch of extra cards because his play just didn't make sense otherwise. Then negate. So say no combo. Okay, so he goes down to uh, four cards in hand. We're going to play out this guy. Attack here and draw a card. This is going to put him in a weird spot as well where he kind of, like, we are We have two cards on field now that, like, he has to deal with, right? They, they, they get annoying when they're out. Then negate, draw a card. Got a Vegeta. So we're gonna put 15k on him again. Again, we just want to get one life. If we can get one life, we know our cold bullets start uh, are effective. I also um, need to need to be careful because I it, like keep staying with one life in hand is um, it's pretty bad because like I, I want to draw um, results. Oh, this is so good. That's so good. Yeah, I'm not going to kill him here, so I think I'm going to save the boo for the Piccolo. So we'll say no combo. Not, actually, the fact he's at one life, this Piccolo might just not be good anymore. No combo. Okay. Yeah. All right, pass. Yeah, because, like, I, I kind of want to keep this boo for this Kel. Because I could boost here to go to 15 to pressure his life and make him have to use cards. But, like, I kind of want him to be at a, a high card value. For the Piccolo. And honestly, what he's going to do is he's going to be spending so many cards here. Like, tr again, trying to kill this. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you can see I've had one card in hand for a long time. Um, but, like, you just cycle through the deck so fast that it's like, okay. Like, one card turns into, like, three cards. So, I, I agree. I think it's very powerful. No combo. Yeah, we're just going to take that and uh, draw a card. Oh, we got Trunks. That's a good draw. We're at five life. This makes me think he has like some sort of like double striker that he's trying to put pressure on us with. Which I feel like even if he plays Bobbity here, I don't know that he can like... 
I don't think we lose. Yeah, I mean, maybe... Like, maybe he has Bobbity in hand. Because what would he hit us to 5, right? He'd hit us to 5 if he's trying to, like, double strike us or... Do something like that, maybe? Maybe he just wanted to hit us to draw a card, but he didn't want to attack into one of our guys for some reason? That seems... That seems, uh, like... Like, if he attacked into this, I feel like he... The key almost is, like, not trying to go for the kill, but trying to put a lot of pressure on us here. Which version of Trunks has been your favorite so far? So far, the blue-red version has been my favorite. I haven't had a chance to play it on stream for you guys yet. But I played it for my Patreon viewers about a week ago, and I loved it. The deck was so much fun. I like the... I, I, I just like the Trunks leader, to be honest. He's super fun to play. There's a lot of thinking that goes into your turns, which I really like. Which I think is mostly due to this card. It just opens up so many different play styles and stuff. So, yeah. I mean, I, I just love the leader. I don't think the leader's tier one, but I, I think that the leader is like a solid tier two. Hmm. I feel like our opponent taking this much time to think is scary. Because that makes me think that he's trying to add up a way to kill us here. Let's see. Yeah, I was just reminding him that I took the damage. Um, yeah, I mean, the deck is, is definitely very good. I mean, I, th I still think Vegeta is probably better. Uh, just because you have so many cards in hand. The thing I do like about Trunks, though, is he goes underneath Cell a lot. Like, the Cell combo is pretty bad against him. Um... So, I mean, I think that's the only downside. I mean, I think that's the upside of Trunks. Is Trunks is better against Cell, uh, but I think Vegeta is better against everything else. So, like, I don't know. Again, I haven't really played enough games of Trunks though to be one hundred percent honest. Okay, let's see what's coming out here. Um, my guess is this Bobbity, but we'll see what happens. We have three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, I think he... I'm trying to think, like... I think we care about this. We're gonna get four cards, five, six cards next turn. He has four cards at hand. I actually think we just beat him by just like was just card value. Going for the boo, huh? All right, no negate. No combo. Ooh, I like to see this. Okay, Let's see, no negate. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I think we'll, I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play Kel. So we're gonna attack with Piccolo, play Kel, destroy Piccolo, and then attack with Kel. Draw probably another card. No combo. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, you die. Draw two. Oh, since you've been it's kind of like the icing on the cake as far as that's concerned. I don't think we have to play another energy down either. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, untap all. Draw a card. So do I want to put energy down? Doesn't like I think these are better because I'm, I'm gonna try to kill him. He has four cards in hand. So I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go here. See what our opponent decides to do. 
I think what we're gonna do is we're trying to get a, our free combo off of this. Oh, he, he just took it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that was an easy, uh, easy uh, last turn there. <laughs> I was I thought that was going to be a little more difficult to try to figure out how to do everything. Because, like, the big thing here is I think what we do is we just combo here. So we just, like, we, we combo here. We draw a card, go back up to seven, and then we awaken, uh, draw two more, attack with our trunks, go all in down to five with our trunks, and then play at Kale, destroy here, and then combo all in with her. So we still draw. Yeah, that's how we get the most value out of that turn. I don't think it's at all necessary, but I think that's probably how we get the most um, value out of the turn. Now, worst case scenario, let's say he uh, would have counter this play, like counter the attack. I think we just play out this guy, use trunks to go back up the full, attack for, uh, for 20K and draw a card and then awaken and do everything. And the same thing we just said again, so.